Hi Metricoolers, welcome back to another video in our Metricool tutorial series. My name is Alex and I am the US Social Media Manager for Metricool. In today's video, we will be talking about Google Business Profile and everything you can do with Google Business Profile in Metricool. I'll take you through the steps of connecting your account, looking at analytics, looking at your reviews, and even how to schedule out some posts. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> So today we are talking Google Business Profile. So I'm actually in the Metrical English account right now. And I am just going to quickly show you what it would look like when you don't have it connected. So I'm in the connections page. So you can get there by going to the right hand and then going down to connections. And then once you click into that, this is the page that you'll be at. So if you want to connect your Google Business Profile, you'll click on connect account. It'll take you to Google, ask you to log into whatever Google profile and then you would follow all the steps and make that connection. It's super simple and super easy to do. Now, for the purposes of the example today, I'm actually going to switch into a different account to show you just some of the things you can do with Google Business Profile because we don't have a, an account connected with the English account. So I'm in the Spanish account. Um, and as you can see, I have quickly switched in and here you'll see that the account is connected. So one thing to keep in mind is that a lot of our metrics might seem somewhat empty and it's just because we don't necessarily use our Google business profile too much. It is more than likely used for brick and mortars and businesses like that where it makes more sense, whereas, you know, we're an online tool. So that is just something to keep in mind while I am giving you the examples if they do look a little bit empty, but I will make sure to go through all of the different analytics and all the things that you can do with Google business profile so it shouldn't make too much of a difference. So now that you have seen what that connection would look like once, you know, you have everything squared away, we are going to go into analytics first. So I'm going to click into the analytics tab and we'll talk Google business profile analytics. So you're going to want to scroll down here to Google business and click in. Now, these are going to be the different categories. You can see location, reviews, photos and videos, posts. And then of course, as always, you can choose the time frame of when you want to see these. Let's say I just want to do December 2022 to January 2023. So I have picked my time frame and now I can go ahead and start looking. So as you can see at the top, there is a little note that says that some of the metrics might not be available for the last five to six days and keywords of the last month may not be up to date during the first days of the current month. So if you ever want any little updates, you'll want to make sure to read that little blue bar at the top. So now let's get into the actual analytics. So we're going to start off first with location. So this is going to be things like your reach and your reach distribution by source. So as you can see, we have Google Maps, Google Search, and then the total amount. So if you only want to see Google Maps, I can click on and off and toggle those things off to see exactly what I want to see in the graphs. If I wanted to see both of them, I can just toggle that on. But of course, I'm just going to leave them all on because that's how we like to look at our graphs. But as you can see that those two months were fairly successful with that up arrow. Then if I go down, you'll see that it is still reach, but it is a little bit, it is just shown a little bit differently. So this is in a graph format, um, a circle graph as opposed to like a bar graph and with like lines. So with the re reach distribution by source, we have Google search and Google maps. And as you can see, it's pretty split in half. You can also view it in a table. And you can also look at keywords. So you can see the keyword and then those impressions that are associated with it. And if there are multiple rows, you can click through. So as you can see, Metricool, Metri, Metricool Software, Metricool Software SL, those are the more common keywords for our specific Google business profile. Then if I keep going down in the location section, I also have clicks. So for clicks, this will be how many clicks have been done to the website, phone, if you have a phone number associated, directions if you have an address and then of course the total number so of course we have three clicks to the website that makes sense as we mainly particularly have a website but if we had a phone number associated this might show a you know this might show a higher metric then there's also directions if you have an address associated so let's say that you are a retail business you would more than likely you're a brick and mortar retail business you would more than likely have an address associated with your google business profile and similar to before, you can toggle on, toggle off what you want to see. 
Then moving down to reviews, this would obviously be more filled if you had more reviews on Google Business Profile, if you were a bit more of a traditional business that utilizes it more often than we do. And this would show you the amount of reviews and like the total amount of reviews as well as your star rating. So you would see that here. And then you would also see a list of your reviews here. So I actually changed the time frame just so I could give you a small little example of what it would look like if you had any reviews now that we're going into the reviews section. So here it would show you the amount of reviews that you have. And of course, if you are a more traditional business that would use Google Business Profile, like let's say you're a brick and mortar um, retail company, or let's say you're a restaurant, like this would make more sense to have it filled. So it'll show you the total amount of reviews you've had in a graph format as well as your star rating. So we have one and it is a five star rating, but if you, you know, use this a lot more often, this would more than likely be a more full graph. Um, and then you can even see the list of reviews right under it and you can download that information in a CSV file as well as toggle on what columns you want to see similar to basically all of our other analytics. So as you can see here in the list of reviews, it'll tell you who the user is, it'll tell you the message they've left, the date they left it, as well as the rating, which the star rating is similar to up here in the graph. So here we have a five star rating. And then it will tell you if you've replied or not. So here it says replied yes. And then you can actually edit that reply directly in here. So if I were to click edit, you can see that I replied thank you. Um, so you can do all of that right within here. Another great thing that could be repurposed to other social platforms, for example, is you can actually grab the text of your reviews and repurpose that to other places. Like let's say you wanted to make some review graphics. You can easily do that by clicking more, copy to the clipboard. Of course, this one is a short review, but if you had a longer review, let's say you had 12 longer reviews, you could easily copy to clipboard and then transfer that over to say Canva, create some graphics, schedule it out within Metricool and you're good to go and you have some nice reviews for your um, customers and for people who are potentially looking at your business or, you know, brand. Okay, so moving on to photos and videos, this would show you on what days you posted photos and videos and the amount. So here you can see we have two total because we posted on August 1st and on September 6th, 2022. This is just a nice graph for that. Of course, it would be more filled if you are posting more consistently on Google Business Profile. And then it will show you the list of photos and videos. So it would show you the list, uh, the photos and videos here, the date, and then the type. So they would be photos. Now, I don't actually think these are active posts for us, which is why it's showing this like this, but it would show you that nice list. And you can always download this into a CSV, like download it as a CSV, or you can look at the columns. There's only date and type for this, so you would more than likely keep them both on. But again, we do give you that option as well as customizing the amount of rows per page that you want to see. Then if we keep scrolling down, we'll get to the actual posts. So now that we are in the posts, this is the last section of the analytics. And here you'll see another graph. It'll show you the amount of posts that were posted on the given day. And then we have a total of six. So as you can see, we had one August 2nd. We had two on November 8th. And then if you scroll down, you'll have that list of posts. So this will show you what type of post it was, what it said, um, if it was a photo post, the date that it was posted. And you'll see that information here. So as you can see, most of, us are, most of ours are spam, but this would show you an accurate representation of the posts that are on your Google business profile. And you could download this information as a CSV, and we also have the option to toggle on the rows per page if you have a multiple posts that you need to look through. And that is analytics with Google Business Profile. I know that a lot of these were pretty empty, but if you are someone who uses Google Business Profile pretty consistently, our biggest advice is to just get in there and look at those analytics. And of course, you will see much more information populated for you if it is consistently being used. Now we're moving on to planning for Google Business Profile. So I actually already have a draft post ready to go, but I will show you just how easy it is to post your Google Business Profile. So I have a draft here. And as you can see, this is what the Google Business Profile icon looks like. If you toggle this on to create a new post, you'll see that you have the option to do a post, which is posting an update to your Google business profile. And then you also have the option to do a photo, which is for adding media to your Google business profile. I do want to distinguish the difference. With a post, you can add text as well as add media to it. 
but with a photo post, you can only have a photo. So I can actually show you the difference here. So as you can see, I have posts. I have no errors. It lets me put in the caption I want as well as a photo. But if I were to change this to photo, I would immediately get that I have an error. Um, I'm going to take this off of draft so that you can see that error. So as you can see, remember, Google business profile photo, max characters allowed, zero. So if you are posting a photo, it cannot have any characters with it. So if you want to have some sort of description with it, you'll probably always want to do a post, but you do have both options. So if I, let's say I wanted to post an update about my business, I would do a post. So for example, for ours, we want to update our users about our free stock images and videos. So I have a nice post ready to go. I have my character countdown here. You can have up to 1500 characters. And of course I can see that I don't have any um, reminders or anything that is not allowing me to save the post. So I can make sure everything looks good. I can, you know, if I really wanted to, I could also edit the image. If I had some finishing touches to do, I could go ahead and use our image editor. We do have that option within the Google Business Profile option. So you'll just want to pick a date and a time, and then you click Save, and it is ready to go to post to Google Business Profile. And that is just how easy it is to post to Google Business Profile. There are just a few small things I do want to touch on really quickly regarding Google Business Profile and Metricool, but then after that, you will be a pro for your Google Business Profile. So one other thing I do want to touch on really quickly is auto list. So you can actually create an auto list for your Google business profile. You would just go into new auto list and, you know, toggle on Google business profile and you could add contents to the auto list, just making it a really quick and easy way for you to be posting to Google business profile. If that is a part of your strategy or important for your business. Um, one really great thing was if you wanted to, let's say share, you know, some updates that you would be repurp that you're already sharing to other platforms you can always go ahead and repurpose that content into this auto list and share that out if you didn't want to do it manually in the calendar you can use auto list for that way and then the last thing i want to touch on google business profile is we actually have it available in our inbox feature so this is going to take a second to load but we do have it right here in this icon and if i were to just toggle on google business profile I could see those reviews and I could respond to them. So now I toggled on just Google business profile. So like I had said earlier in the example, we don't really have too many things in our inbox, but this is what would be an example of what a review coming in would look like. So it'd show up as unread. It would show the star metric as well as the text of the review. So it's translated for me, but I've already responded. I said, thank you. Well, technically I originally said gracias, but thank you with the translation but here is how quickly and easily you can respond to those reviews directly from the inbox or you can also do it via the analytics it's totally up to your preference but we make it super easy and then you know once you respond you can click the check mark and that is a resolved review and that is google business profile with metrical don't forget to use the code try free to try any of our premium plans for free for 30 days and thank you so much for watching this video Bye. <laughs>